In today's world of precision military strikes, enemies are increasingly building important military facilities like command centers, missile silos, nuclear weapon sites and weapons of mass destruction research labs deep underground or in heavily fortified places. Now this makes them tough to hit with regular air attacks. That's where bunker buster bombs come in. Now these special bombs are designed to dig deep into strong targets or those buried far underground before they explode. Their main goal is to take out vital infrastructure that regular bombs can't reach, rather than just creating a surface crater. Without further delay, let's explore the eight most powerful bunker buster bombs in the world, including those that are retired and future models. At number 9, the BLU-109. The BLU-109 Penetrator is a 2,000-pound class hardened bunker buster bomb primarily used by the United States and numerous allied nations. Its core purpose is to penetrate concrete shelters, underground facilities, and other hardened structures before exploding, maximizing damage to deeply buried or protected targets. The BLU-109 can penetrate up to 2 meters of reinforced concrete. It features a thick, single-piece forged casing made of high-strength steel approximately one inch thick, allowing it to withstand the impact of penetrating tough materials. It is typically filled with about 550 pounds of tritonal, a high-explosive mixture. It uses a mechanical electrical delayed action tail fuse to ensure detonation occurs after it has penetrated the target. It was reportedly used by Israeli F-15 fighter jets, used the BLU-109 in the strikes that killed Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah in Beirut in September 2024. Number 8. The KAB-1500PR Among the family of Russian precision-guided bombs, some versions of KAB-1500PR serves as impressive bunker busters with powerful penetrator warheads. The bomb is 4.2 meters long and weighs approximately 1,500 kilograms. Like any bunker buster, the bomb's casing is significantly strengthened and designed to withstand the immense forces of impact as it penetrates layers of concrete, rock, or soil. The explosive charge then detonates after the bomb has breached the protective layers, maximizing damage to the interior of the target. It is reported that the KAB-1500 can penetrate 2 to 3 meters of reinforced concrete. Some sources even suggest up to 5 meters. The KAB-1500PR has seen significant operational use by the Russian Aerospace Forces in various conflicts including Chechen Wars and Syrian Civil War. Number 7. The Tall Boy A significant British earthquake bomb developed during World War II. It was specifically designed to penetrate deeply into hardened targets like reinforced concrete bunkers, submarine bases and railway tunnels before detonating. It aimed to create an earthquake effect by exploding underground, causing structural damage. Yes, the Tall Boy can be considered an early form of a bunker buster. It has a length of 6.4 meters and a weight approximately 5,400 kilograms. It had a very strong, high tensile steel casing cast in one piece to enable it to survive impacts before detonation. The bomb should be dropped from 18,000 feet above the air to achieve a speed of Mach 1. This high speed was crucial for penetration. Fun fact, in case you didn't know, it was the tall boy that was responsible for sinking the German battleship Tirpitz. Number 6. The Grand Slam This was an even larger and more powerful earthquake bomb used for similar purposes as the Tall Boy. The Tall Boy and Grand Slam bombs were both designed by British engineer Barnes Wallace during World War II and were revolutionary for their earthquake bomb concept. Due to its massive size and weight, it required even more extensive modifications to the Avro Lancaster bombers. When dropped on suitable ground, a Grand Slam could create craters 120 feet in diameter and over 35 feet deep. A relatively small number of the Grand Slam bombs were produced and dropped. Approximately 41 to 42 Grand Slams were dropped on Germany between March and April 1945 in the final months of the war. Number 5. The Humor 4 While a ballistic missile rather than an aerial bomb, this surface-to-surface -surface missile is notable for its reported penetration force, making it a powerful bunker buster in its own right against deeply buried targets. 
The Hyunmu-4 is a crucial conventional ballistic missile in South Korea's arsenal, specifically designed to address the threat posed by North Korea's deeply entrenched and hardened military facilities. It is equipped with a powerful conventional warhead intended to penetrate deep into the earth or heavily reinforced concrete structures before detonating. This creates a seismic shock that can collapse underground bunkers, command centers, missile sites, and other critical infrastructure. The missile is designed to achieve very high speeds during its terminal descent, reportedly reaching close to Mach 10. At number 4, the Cloud Maker a massive conventional bomb developed by the United States from 1944 to 1948, and it is a significant example of early bunker buster. It was a direct evolution of the British Tallboy and Grand Slam bombs. Cloudmaker was a truly colossal bomb, weighing in at 43,600 pounds, or nearly 20 metric tons. It was designed to be highly aerodynamic to achieve high terminal velocity for penetration. Estimates suggest that Cloud Maker could penetrate up to 40 meters of soil or earth. Its tail fins were specifically designed to induce a spin during its free fall, enhancing accuracy. Due to its immense size and weight, the T 12 Cloud Maker was primarily deployed from the Convair B 36 Peacemaker Bomber. Number 3 The GBU 28. The GBU 28, simply known as the Bunker Buster, is a powerful laser-guided bomb made by the US. It is a great example of how quickly military needs can spark innovation. Back during Operation Desert Storm in 1991, US forces ran into Iraqi bunkers that were buried really deep and super tough to destroy with regular bombs. To tackle this challenge, the US Air Force's Air Armament Division at Eglin Air Force Base jumped into action. In an incredibly short time frame, less than three weeks from design concept to combat deployment, the GBU-28 was conceived, manufactured, and delivered to the theater of operations. Reports suggest that the GBU-28 can penetrate over 5 meters of concrete and 50 meters of earth. Number 2. The GBU-57 Widely considered as the most powerful non-nuclear bunker buster in the world, the GBU-57 is truly massive, weighing approximately 30,000 pounds or around 13,600 kilograms. This makes it the heaviest conventional bomb in the US inventory. It carries a substantial high-explosive warhead, reportedly around 5,740 pounds or 2,600 kilograms of specialized explosives. However, the majority of the bomb's weight is in its thick, high-performance steel alloy casing. It can easily penetrate 6 meters of concrete or 16 meters of earth. The GBU-57 saw its first confirmed operational use in June 2025 during American airstrikes or Iranian nuclear installations. Reports indicate multiple MOPs were used, with some dropped precisely on ventilation shafts to create openings for subsequent bombs to penetrate deeper into the complex. Number 1. The Agni-5 Yes, there are strong indicators and reports that India is indeed developing a conventional bunker buster variant of its Agni-5 intercontinental ballistic missile. This development seems to be a strategic move by India to acquire the capability to neutralize heavily fortified and deeply buried enemy targets similar to what the US demonstrated with its GBU-57 massive ordnance penetrated bombs against Iranian nuclear sites on June 22, 2025. The conventional Agni-5 bunker buster's warhead is expected to be massive, reportedly in the range of 7,500 kg to 8,000 kg. This would make it one of the most powerful non-nuclear warheads globally and significantly larger than the nuclear warheads the Agni-5 typically carries. With this, we're signing off for today, but don't forget to stay tuned as we bring you more interesting videos from the world of military. We'll see you guys again. Bye-bye.